Buzz's Retirement Garage. Welcome all. And uh, we picked up a lot of new subscribers, so let's rehash a little bit of my history. I retired in September of uh, 2023, at the end of September, uh, mainly due to our company losing some business. 40% of their sales was going to be lost because of a project that we had done for 20 years was ending and we didn't get to bid on the new project because it's all being done in Mexico. So knowing that sales were going to decrease by you know 40%, I kind of knew that it was time to, there had to be some cuts or there had to be some, some people leaving um, and you know, my boss and I talked about it, the ownership, and I talked about it and, and I said, hey, look, it's good for me to go now for a number of reasons um, in September. And so I retired in September and in December, I propped my phone up in the garage and I started Buzz's Retirement Garage. I don't work on cars. It just was, I was in the garage. That's the name of it. I'm Buzz. Here we are. Anyway, um, we also do, so we talk about retirement, and we also do the ramblings of a retired lunatic series, which is kind of whatever is um, on my mind during that day or during that week. We talk about that and uh, maybe topics, current events, but no politics because obvious reasons. We don't like to do politics here. Um, Someone might say a thing or two, which is no big deal, but if we get into some big discussions, I will remove the comments. It's just, we're not gonna do that here. The one thing in retirement that I stress is no stress, okay? No stress was the biggest win for me in retirement so far. That is by far the hugest benefit to me is the absolute reduction of stress from driving to, to working to, you know the whole deal. So it's been great for me. And um, a lot of you who have been subscribed since December have shared your thoughts about retirement. And we've grown a great community here. So for you people who are new to this channel, um, this is a great community. We do have a lot of commenters who, who comment some, some on some great subjects and they have great um, words for us and I've learned so much believe it or not at 64 years old be 65 in January I have learned so much from the community base it's unbelievable um, and people are free to talk about what they want and they and they they give me nice comments they give me sometimes some constructive criticism and I'm okay with that uh, it's all in love right um, so the, today's video is Kelly, one of our subscribers who's been around a long time, who also sent me an email uh, a couple months back about the different cable options like the apps. If you want to get rid of cable, that's another big topic for retirees is how to get rid of your cable, what apps you can use, what are you looking for, what is the pricing. And Kelly did a nice summation of all the uh, opportunities out there to make changes. Um, if you want to go with like a YouTube TV or you want to go with a hula or a sling, if you want that, I can send that to you. I've sent it to about 30, 35 people so far. And um, so if you'd like that, you can email me. My email is down here in the description, but it is nopurplecar at gmail.com. So Kelly uh, last week sent me an email and he was wondering, uh, he said, as a good subject material, possibly, is in retirement, like if you're going to quit a job, you know, everybody has a, almost a standard procedure of two-week notice, right? I mean, that's pretty much standard. You're going to give two weeks notice. Now, managers and uh, owners or stockholders or shareholders, you know, they do things a little differently. But for the average Joe and Jill out there, we kind of give a two-week notice. But Kelly asks, what about in retirement? How do you approach your employer and let them know that you're going to be retiring? When is the opportune time to talk about that with your employer? Do you give them two weeks? I mean, you know well in advance, normally, normally, 
unless you have a health issue, most people know in advance when they're going to retire. And they're not uh, afraid to tell fellow co-workers, etc. But when do you actually officially go to your employer and say, on X date, I'm going to retire? One of the things Kelly brought up was, and I don't know if he's seen this in person or not, but he said, what about the people that say six months to a year before they retire? Because they know, you know a certain date they're going to retire. They tell their employer six months or a year out, and they get replaced. If you're in a union shop, that really doesn't uh, apply. But what if you're just in a, a non-union area where uh, management can replace you in a heartbeat? If, you know, depending on your relationship with the company or your perceived relationship with the company uh, can make that decision making uh, daunting sometimes. But in your experience out there, subscribers, how did you tell your employer, and was there any rough edges to that? Um, did they let you fill out or, or continue working until your retirement date? Or did you get pushed out early because you told them and they found a replacement um, and they were able to make that change when you weren't financially ready? So Kelly had a great question there. In my case, you know, I explained already, we lost business. I just kind of knew in 2008, 2009, um, during that era, you know, our sales were down because the economy was in the tank. And uh, we took a pay cut. The managers took a pay cut for about two years. Um, so I didn't want to go through that again. So it was very easy for me to say, hey, um, you know, I think I gave them about a, month, a month's notice when I knew for sure the end of the production was going to happen, because that was kind of up in the air, because of COVID and everything, were they going to change over? What were they going to do? But when they finalized it, uh, when our customer finalized the end of production date, I knew that would be my date. And that was basically in September. So I gave them about a month's notice, and I have great relationship with my uh, the ownership there at the company that I left. So it wasn't really a big deal. Um, they did not replace me because the ownership, one of the owners took over my role um, and so in order to save money. So exactly what I thought would happen did happen. So it worked out, I think, for them and for me. Um, but what about you guys? I mean, many of you have retired and many of you have gone through that, either that HR person or your boss and you have said, hey, on this date, I'm retiring. How was that taken? Uh, explain. Talk to us about it. <laughs> Let us know. I just don't think that a company uh, would just kind of push you out. But if they did find a replacement that was equal or better than you, so to speak, um, just like in football, baseball, or basketball, you want to pick up that person um, and improve the company. So, I mean, I can see it both ways, but from a, a personal standpoint, I think that would be pretty crappy if they let you go before your retirement date. So, again, I don't think it's a big major thing out there that people are doing, companies are doing, but you tell me, you know, where are we at with that? And Kelly, thank you for that question. Now, if you've got this far through the video, many of you know some of you don't. A lot of people don't watch till the end of a video. So what I'm going to ask you is tell me the color of the bird feeder behind me. There are two, but tell me the color of at least one of those bird feeders and you will be eligible for a $25 Amazon e-card which we will present in about 24 to well, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. So today is Thursday. We might do it tonight on a live. We might do it tomorrow on a live. But we will um, do a random pick of people who have stuck with us so far and <laughs> have told us 
what color the bird feeder is. Anyway, Buzz's retirement garage. Look forward to hearing your comments. Take care and have a good day. Bye.